In the previous videos, I, um, I showed you how to sketch graphs like uh, y equals x squared or y equals um, x to the power of 3, y equals, let's say, uh, 0.9 to the power of x. Um, well, in this video, let, let, let me just give you some examples here. Um, here, the, the, well, get yourself a, a graph plotter. Look, look on the internet. Um, I, I will, um, I will give one example of, uh, of a graph plotter in the description of this video. So, uh, find yourself and any graph plotter and play around with it. So, if, if you, if you plot, um, this, this line here, y, this is y, um, y equals x to the power of 4. And this is y equals x squared. So it's, uh, so this here is still a, a u-shape here, and um, this here is it's just a flatter u, uh, u-shape here. Well, just play around with it, and then may, maybe you can do y equals um, x to the power of of um, of eight, or, or 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 x to the power of of six. You see, all these gives you some sort of u-shape, and and there's a reason for that. Um, if if you look at uh, y equals let, let's say x um, x to the power of three well x to the power of three will look something like this okay B because um because if 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 you say for example when when x is is uh is is minus two for example let, let's say around here you've got minus two times minus two times minus two that will be um that will be well merge these two together that will give you a positive four and then and then you you've got to times a, a a, a minus two. Here you've got one minus here, so the overall answer would be a negative. Earlier up here, even if even if you're in the negative side, let's say at minus two here, minus two times minus two. Well, that's going to give you a positive answer. That's why that's why uh, the y value is in the positive side. If you look at y, let's say y equals uh, x to the power of three here. Um, if, if you look at minus two, it's in the negative realm. Whereas if you look up here, it's um, it's in the positive realm. That's why all the even powers are or 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 in the positive or on the positive side, and all all the let's say x to the power of five or seven or or x to the power of nine that that they're, they're going to take you into the negative side. Okay, that's why you get, that's why when you have um, x to the power of an odd number, it, it gives you something like this. And when you have x to the power of an even number, it, it, it's, it's symmetrical. To, well, anyway, um, play around, get, get yourself a graph plotter, um, and, and then, and then punch in something like this, and then, and then compare the two. You see, uh, so, so it looks something like this. Okay, and maybe, maybe do something like, like this. What happens when you have, Let's say, uh, hang on. Let's say up here when you have um, here, here you, you could do like x to the power of six. But let's let's you could play around. Um, let's let's stick to x um, x squared. So so you could stick a number in front of the x squared, like um, like eight x to the power of uh, two. So so stick with the x squared, and then maybe change a number in front of it. In this case, it's a one here, but you could stick an eight. What well, what happens when you stick an eight? Well, uh, th this is your x squared at the moment. Um, if, if you stick a, a, an eight here, it it becomes well thinner. Some uh, well, play around with it, and, and then you can see for yourself. Um, so, so here at the moment, you've got y equals x squared. Uh, maybe stick I don't know uh, a fifteen in here, or or, or y equals two x squared. Stick a two at the moment is is one. So, um, so what would happen if you stick a two in front of the in front of the x squared? Okay. Um, well, anyway, play around with it, and uh, and then if if you try and plot, um, oh, oh yeah, if if you try and plot y to the power of x, it will look like this. Again, it, this point here is, is is one because if you look at this, two to the power of zero because x equals zero here. Um, well, that equals one, and look at this, uh, three to the power of zero, that also equals one. That's why two of the, uh, that's why the two lines cross right here, okay? And, um, and if, if you, as, as you go to, um, towards, uh, positive infinity, or, or if, as you go, as you make x bigger and bigger and bigger, what you're doing is, well, two times two times two times two. You see, every, each time you, you, you power it, um, it gets bigger and bigger. That's why, that's why this thing here gets bigger and bigger. 
Okay, and then when you enter the negative uh, side, let's just have a look at the red line. Uh, when you enter the negative side, um, let, let's say x uh, two uh, y equals two to the power of let's say minus minus five. Well, when when you see to the power of a minus something, immediately jump to this um, two to the power of, uh, of five. So this this number here, it's um, it's, it's really it's, it's a really big number. So so when you have a one divided by a really big number, big number, a really big number, um, then 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 the overall thing would be would be very small. Uh, the the overall thing would be small. That that's why that's why this number here is not point no 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 no. But it well play around with it. Um and uh, uh, yes just well play around with it here. Uh, and then and then. This is a graph of uh, of when well early up here you see this number here is uh, is above one above one three is above one now if you look down here it's uh, it's less than one it's less than one so when when it's less than one um, as as you as you increase x in the um, in the positive direction so x as x increases look, look at this case here the red line well. Every time, uh, hang on, 0.7. As x increases, every time you times by 0.7, times 0.7, times 0.7, this, this number here gets smaller and smaller. Because if, if you look at this here, uh, this is 0, 1, 0.7. So, so this is your, your starting place here. Every time you times 0.7, it gets smaller and smaller. Um, and, and then if, if you look at this here, uh, let's say uh, this is zero one here. This is your your original here. And if, if you times by 0 0.1, well, 0 0.5 is here. 0 0.1 is somewhere here. 0 0.1. So if you get this times this, it will take you to this level. If you see, it's, it, it, well, when this number is 0 0.1 in compar in comparison to 0 0.7, this this 0 0.1 will get smaller a lot faster because look at this 0 0.7 times times 0.7 it will take you to this level here okay but but then if you have 0.1 and then you times it when, when you times it by you see this here this, this 0.1 thing will get smaller and smaller a lot faster a lot faster than than the uh, the 0.7 that's why that's why when when you look at 0.1 here just just looking at on the positive realm here it gets smaller and smaller a lot faster than than the red one because because every time you times by 0.1, it, it it gets smaller a lot faster than 0.7. Well, anyway, play around with it. And the 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 important thing is this thing here is one because 0.1 to the power of zero is one. 0.7 to the power of zero that's also one. The weird thing is as you go towards the uh, the towards negative, well, as you go to the left, as x increase as as you go towards the, the left hand side, so so let, let's let's look at this here. No, let's say 0 0.7 to the power of let's say minus five. Then immediately jump to jump to uh, one over 0 point um, 0 point seven to the power of five. Okay. Now this thing here is, is well, when you have 0 0.7 to the power of five. This thing here is going to be really small, really uh, really small. Now, if this thing here only, if the pot, if the denominator is really small, the overall part, the overall part will be very big, because if you get one divided by zero point zero 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 whatever, um, the overall thing will get bigger. That's why, that's why the overall thing up here, both for for both lines, will get bigger and bigger, because you because you're dividing by something that's really small. Well, anyway, get your graph. Search around the internet for a graph plotter. I will, I will give one example in the description part of this uh, video. Okay.